YouTube, welcome back to my channel. This is Tiffany from TV Butter. So here is another preview Chocolate Notebook Journal video. I know it's been a long time just because some of my clients, they don't want me to share um, their junk journals. They want a surprise. Um, that's why I didn't film the other custom orders. Um, so basically these three are my last three custom order junk journal. Don't get me wrong, I will accept custom order later in the future, but by now I, I feel like I need to I need to relax a little bit. I need to stop a little bit because I feel like the whole process, the whole Truffles Junk Journal custom order thing reached a point that I feel like I have to stop because I want to step out of my comfort zone. I want to try something new, but with custom order, I don't want to risk it. My <laughs> camera is dying, so let's get into this. Um, let's talk about these two first. These two are for the same client, and I won't say her name here because I don't have a permission. Basically, this one is like a B, B size 6, and this one is client. She emphasized she um, love birds, bird nest, and yeah, so I chose this two cover for her. So this one is, is a bird and and the bird is like a closer look, the bird is carrying a letter and all the vintage flowers, blue, um, silver background, yeah, green and pink. It's just so beautiful and I love the lace lacy touch. And at the back is the bird nest. Um, the cover of course is from Team Port. And the other one also is, let me, is a um, bird egg here as well. This lovely lady is carrying, um, taking care of the bird egg. So I think it's very lovely. So I put it on the cover and here is a fabric pocket. Um, at the back is a bird. I didn't um, decorate the back because I don't want to add any bulk of it. So let's flip through this junk journal first. I feel like I want to, you know, hold it in my hands. So basically this one is from Team Hortz, like a um, photo booth, um, photo. <laughs> and then I remember there's something I don't know. Okay, no. So this is a pocket. I just make it with the lace. Um, she likes lace. She said, she mentioned that she doesn't have a sewing machine at home. So I do a lot of sewing for her. It's all sewed around um, the edge and and the binding looks like this. And this is a pocket so you can house all your tickets, um, small scrap of papers or any paper goodies that you like. Or so you can even put your um, cell phone in it. If, um, if it's not too big, you can put your cell phone in here, but I don't recommend it because although overall it's just um, papers, so scrub of papers. So that's the front page with the pocket. She says she likes um, vintage fashion as well. So I include those um, vintage pattern. Um, it just look very, very classy. Okay, I'll just put it down. What are you doing? Um, and then put through. I attached some of this scrapbook paper card and this vintage um, lady photo. And then vintage book page with different colors, different writing font. So beautiful. I really like this one. More vintage pages, different with butterfly. Also, she says she likes butterflies. What else I have? Oh, I have it all jotted down in my notebook, which I will show you in a minute. So, vintage jazzes. Those ladies were, are wearing different jazzes, so it's kind of like a faction. Faction. <laughs> so, I tuck it in here. I have some vintage lace. On top, I have vintage measure tape so it's kind of like match the sewing and the fashion the clothing theme in the pocket i just have a little big tag which you can also journal on it and i have some coffee dye paper with a lot of stamping and this one is like a botanical stamping you can journal in here super super old um wikipedia page 
and here is a little fold out. This one is watercolor book page. Here is an envelope, tea dye envelope, and you can put uh, papers in the pocket, of course. And here is more stamping, more tea dye paper, a little, um, a small pocket where you can put your pen. Let, okay, let me show you. You can basically just put your pen right. Yeah. Okay, you can put your pen here. That looks cute. I like this idea. Just make it a little bit smaller so you can house um, one or two pens in here. More vintage page. And here is a tuck spot. I have more measure measuring tapes um, at the top. And here is a tea dye tag. Okay, let's flip through. Um, more vintage pages. More uh, it is Holden watercolor page. I love this one. Portrait paper. This one is another pattern vintage pattern paper. I love this one so much. It looks so vintagey, and I love the roses. And I sew the edge with some sorry silk. At the back, more stamping. This one is a rice paper. I got it from um, my life mid monthly kit. But I think it just so beautiful. The color is so soft and different texture uh, with uh, back end at the front and the back <laughs> so I just like to tuck it in here music paper that's the center with a little fold out page and here is more extra scrapbook papers where you can journal and then music paper that's the other side of the rice paper and here is a pocket with um, some fabrics and a lace at the bottom, more stamping, portrait paper, vintage paper, more stamping, um, some silk ribbon, and here is a pocket, more stamping. Actually, this is a little fold out in the center. I have a little um, flower, flower basket. And here is a lace pocket or tuck spot, whatever you want to call it. More fold out. This one is more fold out, and actually is the uh, fairy tale um, princess. <laughs> we'll have to call it princess. And then here's more fabric. Mm -mm. More vintage vintage pages, copy dime paper. Here just a little uh, ephemera. More ephemera, a little tuck spot in here. More pocket with the lace. And here is the, at the back of the faction, faction um, pattern paper. So that's this one. Okay, oh, uh, more pocket. And here is a little tuck spot. Yep, that's the back. Oh, you can see it's so fit. Okay, let's go to the nest. One, which is this one. I, I really like this one, I have to say. I really, really like this one. So the cover and more laces because she loves laces trim. So I added more laces trim. And here is a little fabric. So um, this one is the $40 one and this one is the $70 one. Um, I hope you can see the differences. And here's the pocket, vintage uh, postcard pocket. And here is a little... Um, coffee dine with a chasing paper uh, pocket or what they call pick up pocket and um, some lace trim with a little garment pen and then here is a big pocket actually it's a big double um, double pocket and here is the lace um, trim again more uh, this one is not a fake ephemera it's a real leather with this beautiful beautiful um illustration it is dated 1944 april 16. so yeah another vintage leather i just tuck it in here love this pattern paper um more stamping this one is another lace trim and i add, i have added a little bookmarking on the top more watercolor paper 
it is totem book music paper and here is a little birdie tuck spot I just have this um, Tim Hortz ephemera tuck it in here that's the back oh I just love the color changing here gorgeous gorgeous and here is a little not little a, a half page big pocket with lace trim um, it's a huge one and I also tuck in a little um, tag in here Okay, on the top, I have a little uh, fabric here. I'm gonna add some colors. Half page, vintage page, with a color paper, vintage paper. More Edith Holden book page. And here's another big um, fabric pocket. I've added a little um, vintage button more lace and more ephemera in here this one is from like victorian age i love this one so much so i just tuck it in here mm -hmm. love this watercolor illustration book look at this oh it's beautiful <laughs> portrait paper um super old Wikipedia book page a little fabric on top of the watercolor book actually is a fold out so in the center you will have a little um, little ribbon ribbon <laughs> banner or something you can tuck in little things in here and more um, sorry silk different colors I've added two different color so sorry silk More vintage book pages, music pages, project paper, so you can journal your project. And I have more fabric and trims at the side. And at the back here actually is very thick. Um, it's like um, this fabric is a vintage fabric from Christy. I just I have glued it down on a little um, wooden wood pad and I just glue another piece of flowers on top of it and I glue everything down on this page it just looks so cute and more pages a little fold out and more watercolor pages and here is like a tuck spot with the lace trim I have a little ephemera in here Um, a little butterfly in the corner more um, bookmarks and here another play card more uh, vintage fabrics vintage button and another fold out this one is a little um, flip out or <laughs> I don't know paper flip out A big pocket this one is like a hardboard um, like cardboard paper no cardboard thing <laughs> and with beautiful illustration is definitely from the Victorian age and then at the back I have more a little um, play card pocket and a little pin in here again so that's this one so these two journals belongs to the same client. I really hope you like it. I love this too like crazy, especially this one. I just love this too so much. I hope you enjoy journaling it and yeah. Okay, let's go to the next one. Oh, this one is adorable too. I love all the bookmarks and yeah, and the cover. The cover, um, because she loves trees, so I just have a little uh, tree printout um, and tuck it in here. This printout is from Graphic Stock, and I put a big pocket at the front in a decorated pocket with um, fabric. And this one is I don't know what's it called. It's like a twine, um, twine maybe vintage stamps and um, cheesecloth, and in a pocket. I just have a little vintage page printout and a little play card and I tuck 
them all in in the front pocket. Okay. So this one is more like um I don't know. It's like a different sizes. I don't know what size this is. It's smaller than B6. It's like an A6, but bigger than A6. I don't know. So I've added another scrapbook paper. It's my first time to do this, but I'm pretty exciting. So one scrapbook paper and here is another scrapbook paper. So basically you can tuck in all the photos in here. You can journal on the Project Life card and tuck it in here. You can just put a large photo on top of it to start your journal. Um, I mean your journal, yeah. <laughs> I love it. At the back, I have a little um, fairy tale tuck uh, pocket. The tea dime paper, beautiful, beautiful tea dime paper. A little ephemera, uh, and here is some stamping. More watercolor pages, ledger paper, and here is a little flip out. Beautiful watercolor paper. Look at this one. Oh my god, the colors is gorgeous. And of course, you can tuck in some papers in this envelope. And on the envelope, I tuck in another ephemera from Team Hort. Beautiful, beautiful illustration. Love this one. You can journal around the circle. And here is a huge pocket with a little um, fabric pocket. Again, so it's two po it's double pocket. I've added a little um, little charm. So inside the pocket, I've tucked in a leather, a real vintage leather from 1946. I haven't read it yet. <laughs> So I just tuck it in here. More stamping, more bookmark, watercolor paper. Look at this one. Gorgeous. More pockets. I've added a little trim, a lace trim. And here, I, again, you can, because it's kind of like narrow and um, tall, so you can put. You can carry your pants in here. So when you need the pen, you can just basically pull it out. And then more um, music paper. I'm sorry about the lighting. It's like sunny, um, or sunny at sometimes, and then and then it just go really cloudy sometimes. I don't know. More ephemera. Here is a tuck spot. More stamping. Gorgeous um, coffee dime paper. Super old vintage um, Wikipedia. And here's a vintage book page, more watercolor um, pages with bookmarks, more stamping, beautiful, beautiful watercolor pages. Here is another pattern paper with a little uh, pocket, actually it's double pocket. Is it double pocket? Oh, actually it's not a double pocket. <laughs> okay, so here is, oh, it's like a paper, so I didn't make it into a pocket, that makes sense. Anyway, it's like a tea teapot paper from like long time ago so yeah it's gorgeous botanical teapot paper and I've tucked in a little butterfly uh, ephemera at the back is a pocket I've added a little ephemera this little circle tag and vintage book page and inside the tag I've added a piece of fabric and some journal papers so you can journal on the paper and stick it with the um, the fabric all together. More vintage page as the center. I love the illustration by the way. Just love it. A little um, fabric trim, more stamping, more pattern paper. Another pocket. I just love to add fabric pocket. I mean a long time ago. I don't know. I guess it's in March. I start to add um, fabric pocket in my junk journal. I am just so loving it. <laughs> I just love it, love it. A pocket and a little um, trim, mm, lace trim. More watercolor paper. And here is a little flip out. Inside the flip out, you have a little lace uh, tuck spot and you have another um, pocket, another pocket. So yeah, I have added a little belt in there. More pu uh, music paper, gorgeous pages, a little um, decoration on the page, vintage paper and a little twine. And here is another pocket. Um, 
is the bow pocket. Okay, back back to here. Yes, my camera died and I need to recharge it and whatever. So yep, in this pocket I just added a lot another another ephemera. I sew everything together back to back so you can just um it's like a bookmark so you can basically tuck it in every um anywhere to um make it um like visible. So yeah, I just tuck it in here. No, I need to tuck it in the pocket. And then at the back, another pocket with um what is it called again? Linen linen fabric or yeah. Another vintage key. I was just sewing on top of it. And in the pocket another um vintage ephemera. This one is a real one. And yeah, I just love all the botanical theme in here. So tuck it back. More vintage pages, another pocket. I've tucked another book uh, tag in here. A uh, fabric pocket, actually. <laughs> Ledger, vintage book page, more stamping. And here at the back, another big pocket. You can tuck in any papers and things like that. I just love this paper so much. Look at this, all the illustration. So that's the bag. Oh, I love this one too. Look at all the bookmarks and Yep, I will definitely add some extra ephemera for all of my journals in the packages. And yeah, <laughs> that's my final three custom orders. And I need to take a break. After that, I will recharge myself and I will release more interesting a Travelist Notebook journal. I just wanted to create something new. I don't want to... You know just do the same thing over and over again I'm learning some new skill I hope I can um, make more journals and share with you all in the future yep that's it <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video and let's keep in touch see you in the next video soon bye bye